like how I do with my Well, I saw the three, two, one, so I don't know whether we're live or not. Yeah, that size live. Okay. That's us live. Let's see if I see this live. I see it. It says live. Oh, um. Elizabeth posted some pictures of us having lunch today. Oh, yeah. Wallace and Nick, I think. Yeah, they can hear you okay. Okay. Good yep, everybody says hello. Okay. Can I leave you guys to yes, I've yes. got to go Thank you. Um, You've got to go do work. Yeah, money earning work. Fix presidents. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry to hear that. We'll I'll, see you uh, later. I'll see you later. You know what to do when you're finished. Yeah? I do. For you sure. running any problems? We know what to do. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Okay. Bye. Hi, everybody. Today is Friday. Right. Okay. I leave tomorrow morning. You do? Yep. I have to go back to California for eye surgery, oh, and I'll right. be back in April. Uh, what do you need? Oh, you need your stabber. You got a stabber? I don't know. If it comes out of that drawer, you It does? Know. Okay. Ah, yes. And now I have to have the glasses. To glasses. See what glasses. Here's a pair. Oh, I got, uh, we got, we got a lot Black of Black ones, so that's okay? Yeah. All right. These are, these are the five glasses for $13. They're pretty good. That's a good deal. It was a good deal. Okay, this is Joanna Wood, Rockport, Mass. Okay. Okay, Rockport, Mass. There you go. Oh my. Carlene, Elizabeth, Judy, and the rest wonderful people. I love listening to every day, the antics, and all the work you guys are doing. Just a small donation. Use where you feel it should go. Grateful, Joanne Wood. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> That's very nice. Thirty dollars. Okay. We'll leave that all in a bundle. That goes for Judy. Yeah. Okay. This is Leon, Leah Goring, Laura, Laura, Longwood, Florida. I've seen that name before. That's a very cute card. Oopsie. Oopsie. Oh my, there's another one. This is from... Charlene, here is my... Toast to you and all you've accomplished and are continuing to accomplish. Thank you for my winning number golden money monkey fist. And may you continue to sell out and close to this for postage. Use as needed. Oh, isn't that nice? Leah Goring. Very nice. Thank you, Leah. Thank you. We'll put that in there. Do you still have like the fun fund or? Yep. Oh, so is that considered fun fund? That's cute. How did they do that on that toast? Looks like they're burnt in with the branding on them. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. This is Jan Gerhold. Jan Gerhold. Thank you, Jan. The future is shaped by our dream. So stop wasting time and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I like good that one. one. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> the great pleasure in life is doing what people say you can't do. That's true. 
Very true. I did not trip and fall. I attacked the floor. And I believe I'm winning. <laughs> God. Those, Those are good, good. ones. I Those mean. are good ones. Okay. And here's here's a heavy. <laughs> From Freeville, New York. It's interesting. Very interesting. Mm. These are called diarrhea picker uppers. Oh, <laughs> I thought they were cards of some sort. Oh, I can see where they could come in handy. Oh, yeah. The clothes are. Wow. I could have used chicken some. bricks, bale of hay, and fun fun. And from Suzanne Orwood, Freeville, New York. Wasn't that nice? Thank you very much. Thank you, Suzanne. I was looking for some poop pickers at Meredith today to use for um, a dustbin, you know, to pick up yeah. from sweepings. These would have been perfect. Heaven knows they would have some over there. I looked. I didn't see any. Oh, there should be some. Okay. So, so, there's a box. We have a box. Yes, up. we do. Addressed to you. Oh, my. Okay. From D. Hughes. D. Hughes. San Antonio, Florida. I thought I brought your cutter over. Oh, no. Yeah. That's no, not that's it. Not it. Maybe I can make do. Okay. I thought I brought it over, but it's been that kind of day. People can still San Antonio. That's here. where they make good cowboy boots, I think. San Antonio, Texas. Texas. They ought to. I think that's the the Lucchese factory. Those wow. are good boots. I am not up on cowboy boots at all. My brother is. He must have ten pair. Well, I. I finally bought a pair of Lucchese. Let me tell you, they are different. Really? How so? They're wonderful. They it's fit, just are very nice. They fit better, or? Yeah. Hmm. The leather's good. They're, they're very nice. I'll ask my brother. Lucchese. Oh, a donkey. Here we go. Here you go. Thank you. Carlene and team. Please enjoy this fancy ass St. Patrick's card. <laughs> Here's a box of pool picking grocery bags and a few people treats. Also ten dollars for hay. I love mail chat with you and Elizabeth. And what fun, pleasant way to end the day. I really hope you can get a puppy soon. I fell in love with pasta and miss him. Mm. I miss pasta too. So yes I I'm going to start tonight scanning the works and see if we can find pet puppies. Elizabeth isn't here tonight. That'll keep me busier. Elizabeth isn't here tonight. She's not feeling well today. May God give you for every storm a rainbow, for every tear a smile, for every care a promise, and a blessing in each trial, for every problem life sends a faithful friend to share for every sigh a sweet song and an answer for every prayer may the answer be puppy to play with and prepare uh -huh. <laughs> wasn't that good that sounds that like an Irish blessing you, you know the two of the best in the coming months that's from Diana wasn't that nice very nice Irish prayer God bless the Irish they're always praying yeah, they have some really nice blessings. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. You're going to put that someplace I'll put for her. That. Are they going to know that's from Diana? Look at this. Yes. Oh, it's, yeah. Butter cookies. Oh. 
And they're sealed tight at the moment. They are. <laughs> what a cute there. tin. I've never seen this little perfect little tin. And we have a whole bunch of... Oh, my word. Oh, my God. Look at that. This is Scott. Shortbread. No, it's, yeah, product of Scotland, Elizabeth. And a whole bunch these. of plastic bags. Wow. They're hard to okay. come by nowadays. We'll put those to good use, too. Yeah. Okay, I'll put that there. That there. Okay. I'll figure out how to open those. Oh, sure. Let's see, put this. We better test them and see if they're any good. Okay, just a minute. Oh. oh, okay. I better have a cookie. <laughs> there we go. Have a cookie. Oh my gosh, I'm so full from lunch today. We had the most delicious lunch. Okay, I will, but I'm full. Oh, well, I'll take the one I touched. There you go. We got it. So, uh, let's see. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about your outing with the chickens. How did the cart work out? It worked beautifully. Really? What a wacko idea that was. <laughs> It's absolutely gorgeous little cart. I don't know if everybody's seen it. I haven't seen it. Where is it? I think they put it in that room. You want to get it? Mm-hmm. I'll go get uh, it. I saw this cart on Amazon, or I don't know where I saw it. And I thought, now, what a way to present something in a... In a service dog outfit, in a um, assisted living type place. So I got it, and the damn thing came in about 500 pieces, and here we are. Mm. Let's see. That's pretty good. So, yeah. we're the chickens out here? Here? Here. Yeah. I see you have a nice... Um, yeah. So they can't slip. Good, don't lift it then. Okay. <laughs> Somebody worked very hard to get they it on They did, because it had to be cut with a curves on it. Right. Oh, that's nice. We put the chicken there. The only thing we forgot was the boiled egg. We we had hard-boiled an egg to take with us, and I was going to have the egg be here. We forgot that. Ah, part. that would have been but perfect. Anyway, she rolled that chicken around with kind of about 60 different people, and they all got all excited about it. Ah. Uh. But only one or two didn't like it. Um, but the, the whole concept of presenting with that, that crazy cart, it worked very nicely. So did the chicken stay in the cart? or it did It did. Really? Well, we had one fluttering episode. <laughs> Other than that, it was, they're fine. Wow. So you just brought the one chicken? One chicken. Hmm. The, the Polish tufted. Oh, that's a cute chicken. I wonder if they, um, oh, pictures are posted of the chickens on the cart. Is there, is, there, is there a picture of it? I guess they were posted. I don't know how, I'm afraid to leave this, but oh, apparently God. Elizabeth or somebody posted them. Uh, somebody says they bet Wanda could fit on the cart. She probably could, but would probably she stay could. there? She would if we told her. Uh, Wanda she is well behaved. She was also poorly behaved. I can't wait to see her. <laughs> Uh, so, today, so you had the one visit today. Yes. In. Yes, and then we went to Home yeah. Depot to get the laser pointers that I've been talking about for a while to try and get Carly to see if she can't get that hen trained a little bit. People have trained chickens before, so let's get to it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What do they peck where the you laser point to is? It and they go pick it. So you That's how that woman played the Star Spangled Banner, I'm sure. Oh, uh, on the piano? Yeah. That's pretty good. Um, 
So you did that, and then we came home, and Betty catered lunch for us today. That's true. We had a wonderful lunch. A huge lunch. And everybody came in to enjoy it. Wallace yeah. came in. Yeah. Elizabeth, Carly, Nick, me, Carlene. I know Mike is going to have a little because we sent some home to him. And the girls, uh, Elizabeth's girls, yeah. are going to have some. Elizabeth has a headache. An eye migraine. Have you ever heard of an eye migraine? Yeah. I have. I've had them where they get swirls of color and you can't see. Yeah. Oh, it's really weird. Yeah, the lunch was, they want to know about the lunch. Lunch was very good. Well, who was it? Uh, Pomodori set it up? I don't know who it I was. I think it was. Yeah. I think they were good. They have good chicken wings. They have... Their chicken wings are fatter. They were plump little... Plump little yeah, chicken wings. and little yeah. chicken legs. That well, were those are plump. expensive chicken wings. Ah. Um, they have them. They're, the Pomodori up here in Georgetown doesn't have the same chicken. <laughs> really? Yeah, I've, I've investigated it. The, the Ipswich chicken wings are better. Mm. Um, so that's who catered the and They had also had uh, roast beef sliders. I love them. Sliders are tiny little sandwiches. Yeah, but there was that much roast they beef were, on they them. Were, they were thick, but... They were really they were thick. Small. They didn't mm. waste their time on a lot of bread. Yeah, they you know? didn't. True. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, and so then, Carlene and I decided we wanted ice cream for dessert. Yes. So she sent me down the street to a little ice cream store. Ice, it's an ice cream store. It's an ice cream store, yeah. And I walk in, and... Uh, they pointed me, at, they said, you got to walk around over to there. So I walk around over to there, and it's bakery counter. And I said, is this where I order ice cream? And they said, no, that's on the other side. So I walked back to the ice cream. And I said, I want to get some ice cream. And they said, we're all out of ice cream today. Would you believe an <laughs> ice cream stand out of ice cream? I could not believe it. it really? So they're it thinking. Blows my mind. Me too. So Shows you what this world is coming to. <laughs> so tomorrow... They said the ice cream should be in. But the, so, so she went and got two pints and at the store. I went to I, the grocery store, one. and yeah, Carlene had one. Okay, let's see. Uh, would love to see Carlene have a Dane puppy to train. Uh, everybody, some people know what eye migraines are. Quiet room to rest. Yep. Yep. Uh, what place was that? Elaine Clark is asking. I think she's asking where the food came from. Where the food comes from? Yeah. Pomodori down in the center of... Pomodori's. Okay. Center of Ipswich. Okay. If anybody else has any questions, you can send them. I don't see... Let me go back a little ways. Mm. Mm. That was a super lunch, Betsy. Thank yeah, you the so much, Betty. Yeah, the Pomodori is a chain of... It's a small chain, but it's a chain of... of uh, Restaurant, but that one in Ipswich is good. Well, I can't go back any farther than this. Okay, so yeah, Ipswich Pomodori, somebody wrote. Okay, and then as for my day, what I did was, um, oh, Ipswich Pomodori, Betty says, uses fresh chicken wings. That, that must be, be the difference. They're not frozen, they're fresh. Well, whatever. They're fatter. And they're definitely fatter. <laughs> So, uh, they I come from bigger chicken. Yeah, fat little chicken legs. Um, so, as for me, I worked in Meredith in the barn today. It was raining. It wasn't supposed to rain. I drove over to Meredith. It wasn't raining, so I felt pretty safe with my car, my van. <laughs> and once I got there, it started pouring rain. So I stayed in the barn and swept. I swept the whole barn. It was really fun. I enjoyed doing that. Um, it's Carlene. a beautiful place. Oh, that barn, everything about it is everything beautiful. Everything about the place is absolutely gorgeous. Why would you not enjoy? Yeah, I, you can't I'd help enjoy but enjoy it. carrying trash out for them. <laughs> I know. I, and the stone walls are so unusual because when, you're the one that told me this, when they find the interesting rock, they put it on top of the stone wall as a display. Yeah, that is a, that is apparently some sort of Brazilian copy. Uh, the customs. Ah. But the rest of the place, like the uh, foundations of the buildings are all out of, 
out of the, the stone, big, this big rock, great big rock. But you don't see any concrete. None whatsoever. No, no, you certainly don't see it in the walls. I can't believe those buildings are sitting on stone without concrete, but maybe they are. Well, and the buildings, are, most of them are old, 17th, 1800s. Gorgeous. And then he has one that's two, uh, 2010. Oh, really? The sugar house? The one that, the, the one down lowest, uh, where everybody parks with their stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's I know the barn, one you mean. Yeah. 2010. Yeah. Um, so they want to know what your plans are for the weekends. To go through the rest of the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bought two ice creams. There's one in the freezer. And there's a little left over from the other night. That's too. right. So yeah, you have ice cream. I'm, I think I'm all set for ice cream for the weekend. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can. The oh, dogs. Oh no! So Saturday, um, someone is coming to look at uh, Jiminy. Um, right. She has had one of. She's had three of my dogs already. Uh, her husband was handicapped and had a an actual service dog. And they also have had two of my fabulous failures. And of course, I can't remember her. So anyway, she's coming down. She, I, it sounds absolutely perfect for him. Um, they just lost their last dog. They lost it. It's not they anymore. Uh, she's a widower. Um, so she's living alone. Living alone with no dogs is just, I can't believe it. So no animals anyway, at all, yeah. um, it sounds like a perfect situation for him. And... Uh, be in he should know how to use them and take them places and use them. Yep, and he'll have his own single yep. person. He's going to love it. His own person. It. He'll love it. I hope it works out. He's such a good boy. He is he's so good. well trained. Well, he's beautifully trained. He really is. Um, and she she gave me the compliment of saying, another Carlene trained dog? <laughs> well, you know, yeah. They are, my, dogs, my dogs are different. They're really they really are. Ones that I have handled and trained are different. The thing that surprises me is that even if I use your commands, they listen to me. If you, if you, yeah, if I use if the you right commands. Yeah. But my one problem is sometimes I say it too loud and Carlene will say, you don't have to yell it, you just have to say it. <laughs> you talk to them like a two-year-old. Yeah. Sometimes you yell at a two-year-old. Yeah. I don't know. So, um, I know I yelled at my two-year-old. So someone wants to know how long it takes me to drive to California. I do it in 10 days because I like to take my time. Um, I stop and visit my brother. I stop and visit my cousin. I have friends that I stop and visit. And um, But I, I know most people do it in three days. They can drive to California in three days. Oh, hello. But I'm not driving. I'm flying because I'm going to be flying right back as soon as I have the eye surgery. So... I live in the San Diego area. They want to know where I live, Ginger asked. Um, but it's a little community, beach community called Imperial Beach. And in Imperial Beach, we have the most southwesterly bar in the United States. Oh, wow. And you can sit in that bar at a, what do you call those things? It's got a tall, tall stools and it's just a flat bar? thing. <laughs> yeah, but it looks outside with glass. It's got a glass wall. And right in front of you, you can see the most beautiful sunsets. Oh, oh, my gosh. And it's only a block and a half from my house. So whenever I have company, I take them to the forum. Um, let's see. Carlene, how is the itching? Itching is itching. I found something. I, I brought with me, um, it's called Afterbite. And it's a little stick, and I thought, oh, like... After, after you've been bitten by a mosquito? Yeah, you've heard yeah. of that? I thought when the, one of those things erupts, you could afterbite it and see if that stopped it from itching. <laughs> I have it in the tray. My whole body is in. <laughs> do you buy a gallon? <laughs> How many gallons do you got? I, just, I came across it. I said, well, maybe this will help. I forgot to bring it over. Oh. Are you sleeping okay? Is, is the itching keeping you awake at night? or? I'm, I'm sleeping better. Right? It does keep me awake, yes. Yeah, well, the but, pill knocks you out, right? The well, pill. something knocks me out a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. But I am awake again at, at now at about 1 or 2, 2 o'clock. So I do get up, and last night what I did was a whole Goldie's Farm checkbook. I did the, the um, I made a spreadsheet out of it. 
oh. and categorize the different, you know, gasoline and help and that, and that, and different, different categories of money spending, and uh, he went back to bed. Wow. So that by six o'clock in the morning, I was sound asleep again. So one o'clock in the morning, your brain works pretty well at one o'clock Yeah, in the it does very well. Mm. And it calms out for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's mine does too. I um, also have, it, it's more than chipped a tooth. I've almost lost a front tooth. Oh, that's right. See, I cannot tell because you got that no, you wax can't. in there. I got wax in there. And you can get this wax because it's going to be a couple thousand dollars to fix teeth. Dentists charge an awful lot of money. They do. But this wax is about 20 cents worth. And it's, it's uh, it, I'm all set. It came out today, and it was sitting on the chair, and uh, Larky on this yeah. stool, and Larky looked at it, and Carlene told him to stay away from it, and it turned out to be a piece of wax, and I thought she was going to throw it out. But you stuck it in your mouth and covered up that, that chip. Yeah, it's, it stays chip. pliable, so you shove it where you want it to go, and you kind of smooth it out with your fingers, and... I did use some of that. I got a funny little spot in my front teeth. Oh, well, I never you, heard this, of it. this is a cheap way out. You just buy it at the... Yes, yeah, tiny little packet. At CBS. Let me see if I can show everybody. I've never heard of it. I was really surprised. I'll tell you who hears about it. Judy, who used to work in a dentist's office, they use this to cover up braces so they don't hurt. Oh, see? my... See? That little thing? Oh, they're like little tiny sticks of wax. Tiny little sticks of wax. Huh. Wow. They look like birthday candles, but they're pure wax. Orthodontic wax. You want to go hold that up in front of the... I will. It's from Walgreens. So this is the front. I always make things crooked, but I'll show you the back so you can see. They're just like little birthday candle things. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, my brother was, oh, with braces, not dentures. I was thinking they might help with dentures. So I, oh, I'm sorry. I do a lot of things. Yeah, he has with a lot of See, I have another box in here. I've I think, never heard of such a thing. But there's, a, there's a second box of it. Hmm. Yeah. So well, how it, long have you been using that on that front tooth? Well, two or three days now. Ah, and I never even noticed. No. Hmm. And the other thing I did was I bought some Make Your Teeth White Again. Ah. I thought, oh, great. This is... But I'm sitting here with not too much to do, so I figured I'd play with it. And I did. It comes in two things. You brush your teeth with one bunch of stuff, and then you put this other stuff in. You brush with that for a while. And I was going great guns until the second bunch of stuff hit the parotid gland that I just had operated on oh. and this hurt oh my word so I spit that out as it said not to do and uh, my teeth are a hell of a lot whiter really yes because I, I will say this. but I've, they were awful well a lot of coffee I drink a lot of coffee I've tried those strips but I never was very happy with them but maybe the blood I'll try that you're welcome to try this but no I'll, I'll get put it a little I, bit on a spoon and Go do your thing with That's it. That's nice because you can be doing nothing and have your teeth whitened. Uh, um, people are saying they hope that Jiminy has a wonderful life. They're going to miss him and they well, hope that they, the, she, the part of the deal is she's supposed to bring him back to visit. Oh, she will bring him back to visit. Because him. I do think it's wrong to raise a dog in a family and have him get attached to the family and then give him away. Yeah. You know, this, this puppy raising, I think, is wrong for the It's wrong for the dog. So I don't like giving the dog away. This dog has been passed around a little bit. So I don't think he's quite so attached to me as he might otherwise be. But still, the fact remains that I trained him, I worked with him, and I'm going to give him away. And that's just the fact of life here that we're going to have to deal with. Um, but I, I'm going to insist that she come back and visit with him. I think So you should be able to see him. And certainly she can send back pictures, but the pictures don't do him any good. <laughs> you know, he wants the real thing to come back and visit, so we'll somehow we'll somehow figure it out. Uh, Roger Reed wants to know how Pasta's doing. Have you heard anything Pasta's about Pasta? Pasta's doing great. 
Yeah. No, see, he wasn't with me long enough to get it really attached to me. Yeah. Um, he was, what, 11 weeks old when I got him. Yeah, he was a cute puppy when you got him. Oh, I my know, gosh. Nice, they're all cute puppies if you let them be puppies, you know. Yeah. Um, so he comes to Meredith for every once in a while. That's, that's where I the, the one that, That's their daughter. Oh, they that's their, their daughter. daughter that has the dog. Oh, Pasta couldn't have gone to a better spot then. That's great. Uh, he gets well, started. He's, no, he's with her down in Providence. Okay, but he but still he gets comes up see. on weekends. Yeah. Someone says to try blackjack gum. <laughs> I know team. blackjack gum. Isn't it black? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be that pretty be funny. Good. I used to like blackjack gum. Uh, let's see. They're hoping that Jiminy's new person will send pictures. Yes. He will come for a visit, we hope. Okay. Um, they're saying happy St. Patrick's Day. And if anybody has any more questions, you should ask them now. Because I think this is going to be a short doggy. Unless yeah. you want to tell us anything no. really interesting or intelligent. I could have sworn I put the daily doggy out this morning. But, you know, at 2 o'clock in the morning, sometimes you're not quite as... And I was working on that that spreadsheet. That's what I was concentrating on. But I did think I I thought I put it out as part of a daily doggy. You Apparently, know, I didn't. I thought you had because you were sitting here when I came in, yeah. like it was all done, and I hadn't checked. But I thought you had done it too. Um, you know those buttons can get pretty annoying. What happens is my hand is shaking worse and worse. So, you know, so on <laughs> I the. Push, Six buttons, and heaven only knows what happened. Uh, okay. Um, they'll, everybody will get to say goodbye to Jiminy before he goes. They're asked, they all want to say, are they going to get to say goodbye to Jiminy before he goes? What, what am I supposed to do, hang him up by his tail? Or do you what? think he's, is he going to go this weekend, do you think? Could be. Oh, so you may not get to, we'll take pictures. Yeah. And put it, we'll have Elizabeth take pictures and put it up. And, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think you'll be this, seeing this a lot. This place is so loose that they, yeah. she ought to be back anyway. And she lives sort of close, doesn't she? This I don't know. Oh, okay. New Hampshire is a long, thin state. Yeah, it is. It's only a few minutes from here, but That's it true. is a longer state. Okay. So everybody says thank you. Nice mail chat. Have a great weekend. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you. You have a good weekend, too. And thank you, Betty. That was wonderful. It was lovely. And some of the cookies.